Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. I want to talk about the three stooges in the Philippines. The three categories of expats that I've met in my almost 14 years of coming over here. I call them the lover, the fighter, and the fool. And everyone that I've met fits into one of these categories or could be a combination of the three or any of the three. Somebody may have been a fool before, now they're a lover. Maybe they're a fighter, now they're a fool. But if you be honest with yourself, you can tell where you are at this particular moment. And this is just to help people. You know, a lot of my videos are informational, entertaining, inspirational, motivational, but I never put anybody down. So let's start with the lover. He floated into the Philippines on a pink cloud. He loves everything and everybody. He's assimilated. He fully understands life over here. He's grateful for what he's found, and he very seldom complains. He helps people, and he says no just enough to keep people honest. But love has blind spots, and he's at a greater disadvantage at being scammed. And when I talk about being scammed, I mean maybe getting into a relationship, building a house, buying property. It goes bad, and then he gets nothing out of it. He's more likely to stay in the Philippines longer than the other two that I'm talking about. He's fallen in love with the Philippines. He's lock, stock, and burl sold on the country. See, this is where I am now. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The next one we're going to talk about is the fighter. He's set in his ways and has fought against change from the moment he arrives. He wants nothing to do with the culture. He doesn't eat the food. He doesn't try to learn the language. He actually thinks he's better than the locals. He's selfish. And when he's not complaining, he's comparing his country to the Philippines and how much better it is at home. His only interest in the Philippines is what he can get out of it. That's it. He's a taker. But he's miserable, too. And what usually happens is he'll find a woman and take her hostage and make her life a living hell. He's more likely to have disagreements with the locals than the other two. Now, let's talk about the food. I'm going to get a lot of pushback on this. But he comes here with no direction, no purpose. He goes wherever the wind takes him. Every decision is a bad one. If it wasn't for bad luck, he wouldn't have luck at all. He's a know-it-all. He doesn't seek advice, nor does he take instruction well. He doesn't care for the consequences of his actions. He's like a bull in a china shop. He spends money like there's no tomorrow. It's more likely to go broke than the others. The only thing that saves him is God looks after babies, drunks, old people, and fools. His stay in the Philippines is shorter than the other two. Now, having listened to my description, now you have to make a decision. Well, you don't have to make a decision. You can say to yourself, where am I? Because when I first came over here, I was the fool. I got on a plane and came to the Philippines. Did no research, sought no advice. I just got on the Philippines. I mean, I got on a plane and came over here. And I was like a bull in a china shop. One of the first few times I came over here, I spent $7,000, which is a fortune over here. Every decision I made was the wrong one. I used a travel agent, cost me $2,500 for a one-week $2, stay 
here in the Philippines. And literally the only thing that saved me was that God looks after babies, drunks, old people, and fools. Now I'm a lover. I've transitioned into a lover because I never was a fighter. I'm open-minded enough to know, hey, I'm in a new country. I've got to try some new stuff. So I never was a fighter. I was open to new things. But now I love the Philippines. I'm not going anywhere. I'm grateful for the life I found over here. I certainly don't complain. I help as many people as I possibly can. Y'all heard my story over and over about the Filipino man who helped me and my family. And I'll never forget that. But that's where I am now. But remember, love has blind spots. And I've opened myself up to be scammed. You know, I built that house and bought the land and built the house and the guest house and all that. If things went south today, I'd be out of that money. I mean, it's just how it is because love has blind spots. But I'm thankful for where I am today. Now, the fighter, I've known some fighters here. My buddy John was a fighter. He was setting his ways. He wanted nothing to do with the culture here. He wouldn't eat the food. He didn't know one word of Tagalog or Messiah. He helped very few people when he was here. If he saw kids out in the street, what John would do is if he had some bread that was going bad, he'd give them that. He wouldn't give them any money. And I'm not picking on John. I love John. John was like a brother when he died. But I'm just telling you what a fighter is. His only interest in the Philippines is what he could get out of it. All he really wanted was a woman over here. That's all he wanted. He had that, but he wanted nothing else. And when I said the fighter's more likely to have disagreements with locals, John had plenty of disagreements with locals to the point of it almost costing him his life. He was run out of South Lady. He was getting ready to get run out of San Carlos City during the pandemic. But yeah, I've never been a fighter, but I've known plenty of fighters. The takers, they don't want anything to do with the Philippines, really. But deep in their heart, they know that they're better over here. The circumstances benefit them better here than at home. And that's why they stay. You know, the food, I see fools all the time. I see I get messages from them because they remind me of myself. But these are really fools. They'll come up with illnesses and, you know, strokes. Everybody's got a stroke all of a sudden because they've spent their money frivolously. Like there's no tomorrow. Like this, there's always going to be a never-ending stream of money. Every decision they make is a bad one. So they're stuck over here trying to get home or they go home prematurely. They don't care for the consequences of their actions. But they don't ask for help, nor would they take it. The know-it-alls. This was on my mind today. You know, I wanted to talk about this because... You can change. I went from being a fool to now I'm a lover of this country. I've adjusted here. I'm more Filipino now than I am American. Believe it or not. You can go from being a fighter, being closed-minded, to being open to trying new things, to embracing the culture. It can happen. John was on his way to doing that when he passed away. And I keep bringing up John because it's the, it's been a year since he died, man, you know, and it still bothers me. You know, me and Johnny got really, really close. It wasn't a day goes by that I didn't see John. I talked to him, I get a text, a, a comment. He watched every one of my videos. John was a moderator for my 
comment section. I never even asked him to do that. But thank y'all so much for stopping by again. Find it in your heart to help somebody today. I don't care where you are. If you're in the Philippines, you're in America, Britain, France. Put it on your mind that you're going to help somebody today. Make their life just a little bit better. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the last two minutes of this video footage from Barakai along with some good island music. Take care, everybody.